Yo, well, zombies! Today, we are going on an adventure. I know you've read the title, and yes, that's not clickbait, because you guys specifically have told me. I asked you guys on Twitter, what do you think would be, by the way, follow me on Twitter, it's at Glamangor, what would be the worst makeup look I could do? And I don't mean ones that I wouldn't like to do, but like, either the ickiest, or the scariest, or the dumbest, or just what's the worst? And I got a lot of good answers. The most popular answer is something that I literally don't even want to say in this video. I don't even want to show a picture of it. It's not a good thing to promote. It's also a pretty much instant demonetization kind of word right now. So for all of y'all trying to get me demonetized, thank you. But I'm not going to do that. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to Twitter, check that tweet, you'll figure it out real fast. But in any case, one of the top responses is what I want to do. Of all the suggestions I got, one stuck out both in the number number of likes, the number of replies, the kind of replies, and it is the best answer for the kind of question that I asked. I can't really think of a better answer, actually. <sighs> it's this one. Trypophobia, but make it sexy. <laughs> So that's awful, obviously, for a lot of reasons. One being, is that how you say it? Trypophobia? I feel like I get this wrong every time. Trypophobia. Trypophobia? Trypophobia? Mm -hmm. It's that thing that no one likes. I know that, like, at least 35% of you right now just went, oh, hell no. And you're already gone. You're not even listening to this. Some of you might try to get all the way up until the point where the holes appear. So if you guys don't know, trypophobia is the fear of small clustered holes or things with lots of holes in it. I myself am someone who is very much uncomfortable looking at things with holes in them. It depends on the kind of holes because not everything triggers me, but some things definitely make me very uncomfortable. So this is a fun one for me too. I would like to say that if you are not super, super afraid of this, but you are uncomfortable with the idea of holes close together, and you think you could handle it, of course, only if you think you could handle it, maybe try to challenge yourself and see if maybe the process of watching it happen might help you get over it a little, help desensitize you a little bit. I know a lot of people watch my tutorials and they say that normally they're afraid of this scary thing or this scary thing, but knowing that I'm underneath of it actually helps them kind of get used to their fear and get over it a little bit. So maybe try to stick it out. Just a suggestion. It'd be nice to have you here. But I also like the suggestion because it's very glam and gore, sexy, trypophobia, and it's a challenge in itself because how do you make clustered holes a sexy thing? Well, I'm gonna try. I don't know if it can be done, but I'm gonna try. So, in any case, all of, ow, all of that long intro is leading up to the fact that I am here, out in the world, I've left my apartment to try to find sexy things to dress my holes. <sighs> Let's go. Oh wait, actually, I don't know if I can bring you into the first place. I'm pretty sure they have a very strict no filming policy. In which case, I'll be back as soon as I get what I'm here to get. And then I'll update you. I can film the next place. Anticlimactic, sorry, bye. Yo, well, the sun is going down. Let me show you what I got. This hat, which does not fit on my head, so I'm gonna have to adjust it. Like, literally, that's... <laughs> the most I can get it on my head. I am curious whose hat this used to be because I have the smallest head in the world that you'd think that this is for a child, but I'm pretty sure this is an authentic hat. It's real serious in here, so we're gonna have to adjust the band a bit, but I got this and I got this because I'm gonna decorate this and I got this. Focus. Can you see where we're going with this? Yes. All your worst fears are coming true. Whoa, it just got so dark all of a sudden. Hello, hello. Yes, your worst fears are coming true. I'm going to try to do a sexy zombie pinup, trypophobia style, sea style, navel style. So I wanted to emulate the nautical pinup characters that whether like little captain's hats or they wear, you know, cute little navel outfits. So now I am on the hunt for a sexy pinup dress to go with this hat. Yeah, this is the most horrible look I've ever done. And we're starting it off right with a hat that doesn't fit. Okay. Okay, see you in the next place. Okay, we're done shopping. I did not get that dress. Cause you know what I realized? It's very cute, it's very pinup, it's very navy appropriate. However, it is not sexy enough to make small clusters of holes sexy. So I kept shopping cause I needed to find something that was like Va va boom! You know? I think we found something that's gonna work. Now we have to go home, adjust all the things, put all the holes on all the faces, and I'll show you what I was working on last night. Now, while I drive home, please enjoy these brief messages from our sponsors. 
unless I've been demonetized. In which case, this is awkward, bye. So I made these last night because it was either scar wax or this, and I would have rather done it with latex, so. These are our holes. I sculpted all of these directly onto the things that they're on, except for this one. I sculpted that here and then ripped it off. Trying something different. Sculpting this took approximately two hours. There's five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. And before I put these on my face, I'm actually going to paint inside these holes because it's gonna be very hard, obviously, for me to see once I have this over my eye. So we're just trying to do some shortcuts before the actual application so that the application is better. So I'm using 99% alcohol and my zombie palette to paint inside the holes. What color should we do inside the holes? That's what she said. That is definitely not what she said. Why would she say that, Peter? If you aren't down with small clusters of holes, now is a good time to exit. My little assistant, how can I help you? How may I help you? What are you doing? Do you wanna help me? Ripley. Oh, you Like this video if I should put Ripley in a jigsaw trap. <laughs> I'm doing it whether you like this video or not. Make sure you really get in those holes. That's what she said, Peter. <laughs> yeah, see if I tried to do this while it was on my face, it would be much harder to get all the details. I probably missed some holes, that's also what he said. Or she, or they. You all right over there? I am making you a saw trap and I am putting you in it. So the reason that I didn't film the process of me sculpting this is because, I mean, honestly, I just like to sit and put on movies and have at it. It's my relaxing time. And I didn't want to sit in front of bright lights to do it, so. That's why. Okay, time to peel. That is a homemade prosthetic, baby. Nice thin edges, so it should go on pretty well. Might need a little bit of a trim down here, but. I've accidentally ran this one into this one. I didn't mean to. Hello, zombies. Wait, we already did that. Okay, moving on. Let's just jump into it. Am I full of Franco? What's good? I, I, <laughs> Let's begin. All right, we got prosthetics. I'm naked. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I think I'm just gonna start gluing these things down and then I have two different options to color them. We'll discuss as I get there. For now, glue them down. I think I'm going to glue down my eyepiece last though because the longer I can see with both eyeballs, the better. Trypophobia, but make it sexy. Let's do it. Oh, actually I need to put this down by the cleavage. That was the whole idea because it's gotta be sexy, right? We gonna do that. Alexa, play churches. Here's a station you might like. No. 70s pop mm -hmm. on Amazon Music. Why would I like that? I am a 90s loyalist. Play churches. Here's trenches by Pop Evil on Amazon Music. Play churches. Full metal outcome is Trisha's Lullaby by Lucas King, starting now. Play Careless Whisper. Careless Whisper by George Michael, starting now. She never gets on that Amazon one, Music. That's not true. Kinda looks like pizza. That's a slice of pizza. Huh, fun. Play The Reason by Hoobastank. The Reason by Hoobastank is only available with Amazon Music Unlimited. Here's some similar music instead. No. From Amazon Music. No. I don't want Alexa's interpretation of what I want, ever. Don't ever play this song again. I know about 39 songs by play including Hole Again. I don't get down like that. Ain't no mountain high enough. Honey to the Bee. And 35 more. Alexa's drunk tonight. Yeah. Play Simple Plan, Addicted. Shuffling songs by Simple Plan on Amazon no. Music. Play Addicted by Simple Plan. To play Addicted on this Echo Dot, you'd need to upgrade your Amazon Music Unlimited subscription. 
Would you like to play only one by yellow card? Only one acoustic by yellow no, card. No, I don't want acoustic. You suck. You can always send. I literally feel like I'm in a fight with someone right now. The Alexa app. I freaking will. I'm having trouble understanding. You can send that shit to Jeff. I did this on the forehead just to have a smooth surface to do it on, but I didn't mean to connect the two because I knew that my forehead was going to be covered by this hat. No point in putting that up there, really. Clearing the area of all makeups so that it sticks better. This is not the first time I've had clusters of holes on my eye on this channel. Comment below if you know where else it happens. I mean, I feel like this is already pretty sexy. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Ooh, that perfect fit though. Feels good. All right, I'm officially a pirate. <gasps> Just like the last time. Oh, it's officially hard to see. Cool. All right, I'm gonna blend this as best I can, but I'm a little bit impaired now, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm still drying a little bit, but I have glued on every piece that I want to use with Prozade. I've tried to blend the edges around every single piece using Prozade cream, and then I've powdered it all with translucent powder. I'm not using this piece because I don't know where to put it in a place that doesn't have too much movement. Rip. There's two different ways that I was thinking about painting this. The first is to just paint it like it's coming out of my skin, which would only really involve just making this less yellow and more this color. But we still have to try to make trypophobia sexy. Imagine I'm saying it wrong the whole video. But in order to try to make clustered holes more sexy, I think we're going to make it prettier in terms of the paint job. So the reason that I picked a navel pinup girl is because one, I think they're super cute, but two, coral is actually something that triggers trypophobia in a lot of people because some types of coral have these patterns that are a lot of holes or shapes that are kind of like holes close together, like brain coral and these types of coral. So I wanna do something that's a little more colorful, a little more theatrical, inspired by coral colors, and also make it look more waterlogged since she is a navel zombie pinup girl. P.S. Shout out to all of the vet zombies watching right now. Thank you for your service. So let's make me look like I've been sleeping with the fishes. I'm using water activated veins, veins? I'm using water activated paints for this. Where are they? I can only see so much. Oh, it's itchy under here. What do I do? It's like a solid piece of latex. Do I just poke? Uh, I feel like first I should try to get this close to my skin color. Where is the zombie palette? There she is. There she blows. That's what he said. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot help myself. Is that not clear? Has that not been made clear yet? I lied, I'm actually using a water. Nope, that's a lie too. I lied, I'm actually using an alcohol activated paint first. Real quick, this guy to kind of give this a more skin tone base first. Never paint over your eye using water hot, water hot. Whoa, my brain is just on the fritz. By the way, I will be telling my story about how I cracked my head open in the next video. So stay tuned next week for that story time. Do you want me to just do a story time or do you want me to do FX makeup along with it that kind of like simulates my head wound? I honestly don't know if I can tell the story and do makeup at the same time because I have a hard time getting out a sentence clearly right now while doing makeup. Too much concentration for my little concussed brain. I'll just tell the story. Anyway, don't paint over your eye with alcohol activated paints unless of course your eye is completely covered like this. It's a solid piece of latex. There's no chance that this is seeping through to the other side. There were no holes at the bottom of this one like some of the other pieces, so yeah, good. Ew, gross. All right, I'm starting to get a little triggered. Ew, yeah, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. How many of you just left? Guess you can't answer that as you laugh. <sighs> that was Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. I'm trying to use a light wash lightly on top of these prosthetic pieces because I don't want to undo all the work I just freaking did filling in my holes. That's what she said. There's a lot of that. There's gonna be a lot of that because inherently we're just talking about holes. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I am Michael Scott. I can't help it when I hear such things. 
Actually, some of you guys mentioned that in the Dolan twins collab, you could tell I was holding back from saying that's what she said for several different moments. That's true. We're doing chest prosthetics for this because how else are you gonna make trypophobia sexy other than to show some extra skin? I like how in this zombie palette, this is supposed to be like a pale, creepy, ghostly, rotting flesh type color, and it's actually just my skin tone. Trypophobia. Trypophobia. Nailed it. All right, from far away, I just look naked and holy. Ah. Bad jokes, I know. Sorry, not sorry. This is what you're here for. So yeah, we could stop here, blend it out more, put some pinks in there so that it doesn't look so weird in those spots, but instead, let's do some fun colors. I'm gonna start with some teals and blues and purples. This is gonna be fun. And I'm gonna do it with, appropriately, a sea sponge, because that's gonna give us the texture that we want. So I don't know yet if I want to make my whole body and face the colors that we're going to be doing here or if I just want to make it kind of radiating out from these extra holy spots. I think I'm going to start with just these areas and see how it looks after that. But going past the prosthetics too, because that's how we're going to blend them, is to go past them. If you see any spots I'm missing, let me know, because I'm working with 50% of the huge. I guess the idea is to kind of just make this not scary or creepy or uncomfortable. M maybe? I don't know. Is that ever the goal? I guess I'm going with all over, because I can't stop. I'm going over top of that blue with that same flesh color that I laid over the prosthetics before to further break up the colors. Now I'm using a slightly darker blue alcohol activated paint and splattering it to break up the color more. I'm going to do similar with <laughs> with brown with a really dark blue alcohol activated paint. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a purple alcohol activated paint, but really concentrating it in the little trypophobic spots, not too much. Predominant color is gonna be blue. Whoops. I kind of remind myself right now of those 90s Dixie cups. And now I'm just taking a lot of alcohol on my brush and I'm gonna just kind of add weird spots in to give it some variation. Mostly happy with that, so now I'm gonna go back into my holes <laughs> and define them. Make sure you can see every single hole. That's what she said. So I did the holes initially with browns and reds, but I'm gonna actually deepen them now with this purple. It's the same purple I've been using to highlight all of these spots. Most of these colors are from the zombie palette, which is pretty fun. Because I bet you ain't never seen the zombie palette like this. Lastly, for the gore, oops, first we're gonna fix that. Are you running into walls over there? Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. I think the last thing I'm gonna do for the gore is I'm going to go around some of the edges of these holes with that ghostly white color again, just to kind of highlight it. Cause it is 3D, but it actually doesn't look that 3D now that we've painted it. And then we get to do some fun glam. By the way, the way I made these holes in the prosthetic is once the latex was laid down, I just pushed the end of this brush and a couple other different brushes into it. See? Perfect fit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. I'm knocking over everything because I can't see on that side. Oh Jesus. This is not going to end well, mark my words. Oh man, I can't. Oh crap. I can't close this eye to see what I'm doing on top of it because it's the only eye I have. So this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to try to smoke this out with some purples and pinks and blues as best I can even though I can't close my eye fully to see what is going on. I 
a little pop of pink right in the inner corner. All right, that eye goes. Mascara. Ooh, that pop sound. Ooh. Glam makeup is so hard to do with one eye. When's the last time I did this? Have I ever done this? Of course, we're gonna do cat eyeliner for the pinup style, because this isn't really pinup glam otherwise. This, oh my god, this is so hard to do with one eye, because I can't really close my, I didn't think this through. I should have done this first. Who would have thought the hardest part of this look was gonna be a freaking winged eyeliner? The thing I do every single day. My depth perception is all off, which makes it twice as hard too. So like right about now, I'd really like to close my eye and just drag it to make sure it's super smooth, but I can't. Oh, life is so hard. Oh my god. Okay, eyeliner somehow accomplished. Lashes! No, lash. A singular lash. Lash done. Lips. I want to do a dark purple. Perhaps with some shimmer. They need to look really juicy and pin up -y. I think all that's left is the accessories. And there's lots to make this whole look look very sexy. And that's how you make trypophobia sexy, I guess. Yeah, this has got to be one of the weirdest, but whatever. Thank you to the zombie who suggested this, I think. Like this video if you hated this video. <laughs> like this video if you hate clusters of holes, but you watch this video because you are a dedicated zombie. I know there's a lot of you watching, <laughs> and thank you by the way. And like this video if it made you seasick or, or just sick. You know, honestly, I feel like the holes aren't that bad. You know, like they're they're painted, not so bad. And they're, you know, pretty colors. I feel like it's not so bad this way. Aye aye. <sighs> I'm looking for a pun, I got no pun. Leave comments down below, let me know what your worst fear is or what makes you the most uncomfortable. For me, it's mold. I don't do mold and honestly, that's a little bit related to trypophobia because part of the reason I don't like mold is the way that it looks, like the spores and the ugh, ugh. Ugh. But let me know what you're afraid of in the comments down below. And hit subscribe if you are new or lurking or you love glam or you love gore because we do it all here. But that is all for this week. I will see. Get it? Because like navy, ocean, coral. Anyway, I'll see you next week with the story about how I cracked my head open. Get it? I'm waving goodbye because the navy and the ocean and the sea. Okay.